Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is similar to the first one. Notice it's p equals v squared over r, and we're supposed to solve for r. So again, not a bad idea to draw a little circle around the variable you're trying to solve for. And then again, we realize, well, that looks like a over b equals c over d. That means we can go ahead and move anything across the diagonal. So in other words, we can move things across the diagonal whenever we have two fractions that equal to each other. And to help us see that, we can write this as p over 1. So in other words, what we're going to do is we're going to move the r in this direction, and we're going to move the p in this direction. And of course, the 1, we can just ignore the 1. And if we do that, then we have r is equal to v squared divided by p. So simply move the r up here, the p down there, and we're done. Of course, we can move the 1 over that way. 1 times v squared is still v squared. And that's the final solution. That's how we solve that for r. It's simple when we use this technique. And that's how it's done.